hello everyone welcome back to the map of mathematics in this video we are going to solve this nice algebra problem and here we have n to the power of 4 plus 64 equals to 0 and we will solve this problem for the values of n so in this problem we find all the roots of this equation so the very first thing we are going to do is here first we rewrite this equation as we write this n to the power of 4 as n squared and its whole squared and we write the 64 as 8 squared and it whole equals to 0 and in the next step uh, here we need to uh, complete the square of this equation so now I can use the method of completing square to uh, find the values of n so uh, in the next step uh, in order to complete the square here we need to uh, add or subtract 2 times of n square into 8 so that we will add and subtract left hand side only by 2 times of n squared into 8 so we just add and subtract this term on the left hand side so that its left hand side will be comes in this form n squared and its whole squared plus 8 squared and plus 2 times of n squared into 8 minus 2 times of n squared into 8 and this whole equation equals to 0 so uh, in the next step uh, you will see here if you focus on these terms then you conclude that it will becomes the whole square of n square plus 8 if you open the square of n square plus 8 then it will becomes in this form and we have minus 2 times of 8 is 16 into n square and this whole equals to 0 so now uh, here we just rewrite this equation as n n squared plus 8 whole squared minus 16 times of n squared and it will becomes 4 times of n and its whole square and it is whole equals to 0 so now uh, here uh, we need to use uh, the important square identity or well known identity you know about this one if we have a squared minus b squared it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so now we use here this nice formula uh, and according to this formula our above expression will becomes in this form n squared plus 8 minus 4 times of n into n squared plus 8 plus 4 times of n equals to 0 so here we have these two factors and now we can just uh, solve these two factors and we find the values of n so that here we have two cases the first case is we write n squared minus 4n plus 8 equals to 0 and the second case is we write n squared plus 4n plus 8 equals to 0 so now we can solve these two cases uh, by using the quadratic formula and you know that quadratic formula will be looks like in this form n equals to minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4 times of a c and whole over 2 times of a and in this case we have the value of its coefficients are a is 1 b is minus 4 and c is 8 similarly the coefficients of this equation are a equals to 1 
b equals to 4 and c equals to 8. So now we put these two coefficients in this quadratic formula and we get the roots of this equation. So now first we put these values here and you get n equals to minus b and you have b is minus 4 so this minus times of minus becomes plus 4 and plus minus square root of b squared so b is minus 4 and minus 4 square is 16 minus 4 times of ac here a is 1 and c is 8 so 4 times of 8 equals to 32 and over 2 times of a and a is 1 so it will becomes 2 similarly when you put these values here then you get n equals to minus b so here you have b is 4 so it will becomes minus 4 plus minus b square b is 16 minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 8 it is again 32 square root over 2 times of a is 1 and now we will just simplify these two equations and we will move towards our final answer here we have n equals to 4 plus minus 16 minus 32 equals to minus 16 square root over 2 similarly here you get minus 4 plus minus 16 minus 32 equals to minus 16 square root over 2 and now we write here n equals to 4 plus minus the square root of 16 equals to 4 and square root of minus 1 equals to iota over 2 similarly here you have n equals to minus 4 plus minus square root of minus 16 square root of 16 equals to 4 and the square root of minus 1 equals to iota over 2 so now we just separate these two terms and we get our final answer so we have n equals to 4 over 2 plus minus 4 over 2 iota and similarly here you have minus 4 over 2 plus minus 4 over 2 iota so here you obtain by cancellations you get 2 plus minus 2 iota so these are the two complex roots of the given equation and similarly here you obtain n equals to minus 2 plus minus 2 iota so these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos